What's up guys, back with another educational video and this week we're talking about long-term weight loss and behavior change. So sexy, I know. Actually most of you just turned out because you're like, not talking about the five foods that burn fat, not talking about the three things that you're eating that will make you toxic, and not talking about some variation of cold water or ice bath. I'm afraid on this channel, we're talking about the shit that actually works to change your life. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment for the algorithm. This week, a new paper was published looking at the effects of six months of weight loss intervention and not the quantitative stuff, but the qualitative stuff. So they were doing a lot of interviews with these people. So they did six months of weight loss and then two months of follow-up with the folks. And they had like different variations of treatments. Like some were uh, time-restricted eating, some were like alternate day fasting, some were straight caloric restriction. So I think this was probably part of a larger study that was looking at those specific treatments. But then within that, they took more of a psychological angle to it. So they were looking at what was these folks' mindset, what initiated this behavior change, what were the factors that kind of motivated them or kept them consistent, and what were some of the factors that were negatives to them. So the researchers basically asked them quite a few questions about their experience, and they actually ended up forming what they called a feedback loop. Now, I'm gonna kind of try and condense it down a little bit, but essentially what they noticed was that Initially, early on in the process, people who were successful noted that getting a lot of feedback and a lot of accountability made a huge difference on their results. So they found that them having like frequent check-ins with the researchers or the support staff had a really big benefit for them being adherent. And some of them didn't like the diets at first, but this interesting thing happened. So a lot of people have this view that in order to initiate behavior change or facilitate behavior change, you first must be motivated to do so. And then if you're motivated, the behavior change will happen and your life changes. And the researchers kind of talked about this, but the study shows it. That is not how that stuff works. What you find is that it is not motivation that is sufficient to sustain behavior change. Behavior change sustains motivation. The behavior change has to come first. And so they found that as they were adherent, as they started to see changes from their behavior change, they started to see changes in their body and their health, they got more motivated for the process. Motivation, behavior change, most people have it flipped. You start the behavior change because you just know that's what needs to happen regardless of how motivated you feel. And then as you go through the process, you buy into the process, you do the process, you begin to feel more motivated. That's how that works. There was some initial motivation to change, obviously, but they started out with that initial, you know, they've, they've decided to change, then they moved into accountability and feedback, then they got more motivated, they gained what they called self-efficacy, so they were able to do more on their own, make more decisions on their own. They talked about this in terms of like people in the fasting groups that they were doing alternate day fasting would structure their fasting days around if they had family events or if they had activities so that they could have their feeding days on days that were more convenient to them and their fasting days on days that were more convenient to them. And so that's an example of them taking self-ownership of the process and that's the last step. So once they begin gaining self-efficacy, then that moves into self-ownership. And self-ownership is really what is necessary for the long-term sustained changes that you wanna see. And self-ownership is basically, I have the power, I have the responsibility, I can do this, and I, have see, I, I believe I can do this because I have seen these changes happen over time. The other thing that this paper talked about was the fact that so many people either fit the diet into their lifestyle or they fit their lifestyle around the diet. Those are both part of self-ownership. So for example, if somebody knew uh, that it was gonna be hard to get meals in at work, maybe they had a meal delivery system. So that's an example of them adapting the diet to their lifestyle, but then people also change their lifestyle to adapt to the diet. For example, people who were doing low carb ended up changing the kinds of food they were cooking in order to accommodate for low carbohydrate. So my takeaway for the average person who wants to lose weight is don't wait for motivation and don't expect motivation to be sustained. It will never be sustained. It's just that is not how our brains work. But what you can do is make decisions every single day based on what your goal is for certain behaviors 
And over time, guess what will happen? Overall, your motivation level will climb. Now, you'll still have days where you're not as motivated and days where you're more motivated, but if you continue to execute those behaviors and build those confidence, overall, your motivation will go up, partly because you're just seeing results. And the other thing I would say is one of the most powerful tools we have to improve results is accountability and feedback. And that's why coaching, when it's done right, can be such an invaluable part of this process, especially early on. So that also means maybe you should have more frequent touches and communications just to check on them. Even, you know, like for our team violin clients, we update once a week, but it may be a good idea for there just to be some touch points throughout the weeks as those initial weeks, like, hey, how's it going? How are you fighting this? Any struggles? Do you have any questions? If you're looking for really good nutrition coaching, I mean, again, that's why we formed Team BioLane. That's why we have a team of expert coaches who can help facilitate long-term lifestyle and behavior change. So this week, we're having our biggest promotion of the year. It's called the Team BioLane Diet and Lifestyle Remodel Challenge. Now, I know a lot of companies do big weight loss challenges. We did not want to call it a weight loss or a fat loss challenge because weight loss is not every single person's goal. And we did not want to turn this into who can lose the most amount of weight competition. Weight loss, muscle gain, all that stuff secondary. What kind of impact did it actually make on their day-to-day -day life? So that's why we call it the diet and lifestyle remodel challenge because we want to see the impact on people's lifestyle. We want to give them the tools so that they can take self-ownership. We don't just want to give people a fish. We want to teach them how to fish. So quite frankly, at some point, they don't need our help. If our coaches do their jobs correctly, at some point, they're not gonna need a coach. And that's our goal for every single client. So, what's the Diet and Lifestyle Remodel Challenge include? Well, I'm not gonna go through all the inclusions because we'd be here way too long, but some of the biggest benefits are you get 16 weeks of coaching for the price of 12. You're gonna get weekly check-ins one-on-one with your coach. You get an intro call with moi, yours truly. You also get access to the BioLane Workout Builder for free during this period of time, so your training programs are taken care of. You also get access to our private Facebook group for clients where you can ask questions and get feedback. There's also weekly emails that have education specific for our remodel clients. You also get $100 off the Team BioLane seminar in spring. So if you're wanting to come to that, you can get 100 bucks off that just by being a remodel client. And finally, the prizes. We don't just have fat loss, we also have like reverse dieting and muscle gain. Every category winner is gonna win all of our eBooks. You're gonna win a $50 gift certificate to the BioLane store. And you're gonna get a gift package from Outwork Nutrition. So, pretty sweet deal. And if you're the grand prize winner, you get $2,000 cash, you get a $100 gift certificate to the BioLane store, all of our eBooks, and the Outwork Nutrition prize pack. Pretty sweet deal, and I hope that many of you are gonna sign up because we have had so many clients who have said that this is such a life-changing experience for them. So besides the discounts, besides the prizes, besides all that, if you've been looking for getting coaching and you're tired of spinning your wheels and you're ready to learn how to create long-term lifestyle behavior change and you're ready to change your life, take self-ownership, the remodel is a fantastic option for you. So click the link. Check it out, sign up, and I'll catch you guys next week.